Modern man. Even in our advanced society, the same behavioral traits emerge. You're saying history repeats itself? Uh, not exactly. It's an intrinsic aspect of humanity. It's hard-coded from the beginning. We see it in China, Mesopotamia, pre-colonial America. Europe? Uh, well, yes. It's kind of a cultural pothole, if you will. Uh, uh well, it, it's cultural in it... See, I don't know what you mean by pothole. Uh... It's a resistance to change in so few words. Uh, it's a survival trait first, which makes sense on the surface. However, when we apply the same rules to more complex social systems, it tends to hurt more than it helps. See, a, a new factor is introduced into a society, and th the community is turned upside down, because individuals within this community lack the initiative to adapt to new circumstances. Uh, lower species simply adapt through natural selection, but so-called so -called threats to human culture are really life-threatening, so they linger. That's very interesting. I know. of an ant walking along the edge of a table. Uh, you put your finger down in the path of the ant. You squash the ant. Uh, no, no, you don't squash the ant. You just put your finger in front of it. You block its path. You see, uh, the ant will encounter your finger, recognize this as an obstacle, and adjust its path, moving around your finger and then continuing on its way. Now, uh, you remove your finger. As the ant returns along the same path, it will move in the same direction, following the crook around your finger, even though your finger's not there anymore, because on its way it leaves a chemical trail, and it prefers to follow this chemical trail because it knows that, well, that that's the way back. A uh, pheromone trail. Uh, yes.
People are naturally inventive, but ingenuity is not always the same as critical reasoning. That's where we get the, well, that's the origin of myth. Ah, oh, myth. Yes. Uh, when the Greeks first encountered men on horseback, they invented a new creature, essentially. Greeks were familiar with horses. They knew what horses were, they knew what men were. Instead of approaching the situation rationally, they resorted to mere fabrication. Fabrication? Uh, imagination. And thus we have the Minotaur. You mean the centaur? Uh, the Minotaur is the man on a horse. The Minotaur is a half-man, half-bull. Uh, oh, I see. And how did that myth arise? Well, I don't know the particulars. Uh, I suppose they saw a bull riding a man. Uh... Is that what you call a cultural pothole? No. <laughs> So in conclusion, the human being is not an ant. Uh, well, some of them are. But fundamentally, we are not ants. We are more, and we have the potential to become far more. We uh, must only realize this potential. Uh, see, that's not what So I there mean. it is. Can we really afford to be drones, altering our lives at the whim of nature? Mm, that's not what I'm saying It's at the all. power of the individual. Man must take a stand. He shall not be controlled by circumstance. Man has his own destiny. Man has his own destiny? He makes his own destiny. Uh, you said has. Well, if I make a pie, I have a pie. Well, what pie? You heard it here, folks. There is hope for the human race, and there's still time for Kung Fu. What does that even mean?